G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to look at the clone cursor method on tClient dataset. And let's just get stuck straight into it. What we have here is pretty much the classic um, fish facts example. Um, it's a, a two-form implementation. Um, for the data, it's just grabbing it out of an XML file. Um, if, and if I run it, yeah, double-click on a fish, make a change, save it, change it back. Um, so it's not overly exciting, and we can only edit one at a time because it's using a modal form. So when we double-click, it uh, edits the client data set, and then basically the show modal, and it, if you click save, it saves, uh, otherwise it cancels when you close the form. So it's a pretty basic implementation. So things are going pretty good. Um, your The sales are in the millions, and you're surfing Google Earth to find out which Pacific island to buy. Um, after all, you need a destination for your brand new Gulfstream G250. However, you suddenly notice that um, sales are, are down, uh, and you find out that your main competitor, um, uh, aquatic um, artifacts or whatever, um, is can, allows you to edit two items at a time. So you want to implement that feature as well. So the first thing that we might want to do is to be able to have two fish editors on the screen at the same time. So um, let's go into our double click event, and rather than doing show modal, um, let's in fact um, go. Sh let's do it this way. T fish editor dot dot show, and in the form close action to CA free. And now when we run this and double click, we can open up multiple windows. However, as we scroll through, they all point to the same same record. So it's not overly helpful. So to get around that, um, we need to be able to have a different copy of, or look at the different data in a different way. So what I'm going to do is on our fish editor, so I'm going to check a new client data set, and I'm going to call it CDS BioLife Clone, and point our data source to it, and I'm going to create a new method on here called edit, and I'll press Control shift c for the um, class completion. What I'm going to do is go cds biolife clone dot clone cursor, and I'm going to point that to fmain dot cds biolife. Edit and show. And change these. And that one. And we go back to our main form and we say edit instead. OK, let's see if that works. And we double click on Triggerfish. So editing Triggerfish and under a, a COD. And I can go back and let's go to Triggerfish and make it Triggerfish 2. Go save. That worked. COD 2. Oops. Save. And everything works nice and happily. 
I guess I should say something a bit more about this clone cursor. Um, basically, what it does is um, the you have one set of data. Um, so this CDS BioLife and CDS BioLife clone uh, both share the same data, but they have different cursors, so you can um, edit and scroll and what have you independently. Um, but if you make a change to one, it, of course, they're both, both are effective because the data is the same. This sharing of data might be highly desirable, uh, particularly as the um, BioLife data might be quite large. Um, client data sets are an in-memory table after all. Uh, and one of the fields happens to be an image. So if this contained thousands of records, it might be many, many megabytes in size. So having only one uh, copy of it in memory is quite an advantage. Uh, also, it might be very expensive to obtain the data. So uh, if you, you're on a, a slow internet connection and obtaining the data from a server, uh, doing it three or four times might be uh, prohibitive. So um, using clone, clone cursor um, can be a very efficient way of doing that. And of course, we are obtaining our data through an XML file. And if we had um, multiple client data sets looking at that same XML file, uh, when we went to save that back to disk, uh, it would be whoever saved last um, got to have their changes logged. So um, yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, so let's move on. Thanks for watching. I will probably be doing more with client datasets in the future, so stay tuned.